Thank you for joining this quick troubleshooting video. In this video, we are going to illustrate on how you can disconnect and reconnect your email account from the Inbox app. Following these steps can a lot of times address any email or calendar sync issues you may come across. A couple of things to bear in mind. First, in order to follow these steps, you must already have an email account configured and set up in the Inbox app. If you don't, please check out the video linked below on how to set up Inbox for the first time. Second, the steps I am about to illustrate apply to both Android and iOS versions of the Inbox app. So to get started, let's bring up the Inbox app. As you can see, I'm noticing though I have my Gmail account integrated in the Inbox app, none of my emails or calendars are showing up in the app. As this is a great example of email and calendar events not syncing, part of the basic troubleshooting, we want to go ahead and disconnect and reconnect our email account from the Inbox app. To do so, we want to go ahead and click on More located on the bottom right. Then click on Settings. And then click on Connected Accounts. This is where you will see all your email accounts that you have set up and configured in the Inbox app. Go ahead and click on the email account you're having an issue with. Click on Remove Account located at the bottom in red. Go ahead and acknowledge the pop-up to delete the account by clicking on OK. Once you've deleted the desired email account, you will be taken back to the connected account screen where you can add your email account. To do so, click on the plus sign located on the top right. Click on the type of email account you would like to add. For this example, I will click on Gmail. If the username and password is not already stored, it will ask you for your username and password for the email account. In my case, as the information is already stored, I can just go ahead and tap on the email account I'd like to add. I will go ahead and select my Gmail account. As it processes and connects, you will get a screen to allow Salesforce to access your email account. Go ahead and click on Allow located at the bottom right. If everything goes well, it will show the email account you just added along with the status on the right hand side. If it says connected, that means it was able to successfully connect your email account. At this point, you want to go ahead and click on the back arrow twice and then click on inbox on the bottom left to be taken to your emails. Please know it may take up to five minutes for emails and calendar events to sync down to the inbox app. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please visit Salesforce help portal where you can find great resources, including communities, documentation trails, and contact Salesforce support. Thank you for watching.